So once you've added a game and you've authorised it, you can start using our four services that we offer, which is um, recording your game to an MP4 file, broadcasting your game, and streaming it over LAN and, and streaming it uh, across networks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to record your game to an MP4 file. So I've logged into our website, I've gone to your games, and here's a list of all of my games that I've got on the streamer website. And here's a game called Crisis, and we're going to click this button, which is the Record to File button. You notice it's already been authorised, so this authorised button has got a green tick on it. So I click on the Record button, and the first thing that I can do, and I scroll past the help, is I can set the resolution of the game, and I can set the bandwidth that it's going to record at and I can set the audio. Um, now I recommend that you first try out recording at lower resolutions and then increase it steadily step by step until you get to the maximum capability of graphics card. So I'm actually going to record at 800 by 600 and I'm going to record it at 2 megabits per second and I'm recording it as just raw PCM audio. And to start the recording process I click on the record button here uh, to start the service and that's going to open up the Stream My Game player and it's going to ask me to log in and as I've already logged into the website before it's saved my username and my password so I click OK and that's going to start off Crisis. And you notice that it's got our icons, the streamer icon, the frames per second and the DirectX uh, version of your graphics card. Obviously you had a DirectX 10 graphics card that will be showing up as DirectX 10. And I'm going to try and escape past much of these title sequences as I can. Get straight to the game. And I start off single player, new game, start the game. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the F9 key, which is the default key for recording. If you find that that conflicts with your game, you can go through our website to the settings page and change the settings for the start and stop recording. But at the moment I've got it set to F9 and I'm going to press that now. And you notice this icon's now changed to a little hard drive to show you that it's now recording onto your hard drive. Um, you can re we're recording at 50 to 60 frames a second is what the game's playing at. And then after I've recorded a little bit of this title sequence, I'm going to hit the F10 key to stop it recording. But you can hit F9 and F10 at any time during your gameplay to record various different parts of your gameplay. And at the end you'll be left with one long video file with all your stops and starts that you, you've wanted to do. And if you go to your My Documents directory, in there you'll find uh, various different videos that we've recorded. And I'm going to go to Date Modified and bring back the most recent recording, which is this one here. So I'm going to double click this video file. And it opens up, as you can see, immediately within our player. Um, you can scrub it backwards or forwards to get to the bit of uh, video that you wanted to look at. Um, and it's great for recording your gameplay, recording your highest scores or, or showing other gamers how to get through various different parts of the game and walkthroughs. And it's also uh, great for uploading onto sites like YouTube. And that's how you record games with Stream My Game.